Hey everybody, Gabriel Sedlak here. I wanted to cut another video, but this video is going to be about a dream I had. And one thing that's always happened in my life is whenever I've been really struggling with something or prayerfully going in a direction, it's almost like the Lord speaks to me in my dreams and it just encourages me. And that's just what he does for me. And I'm very thankful for that. Um, a couple of years ago, I had a dream. And uh, what brought it to mind is my wife and I were just talking. And, um, and as I was explaining some stuff to her, uh, I said, you know, that reminds me of a dream I had. And I start sharing her the dream. And she goes, why, why don't you share that with people? That'd be incredibly motivating. So here we go. Um, if, if any of you have ever seen like a uh, pictures of Connecticut in the, in the autumn, right? You see the tree-lined roads that kind of gently wisps like this. And, um, and, you, and you see all of the, the, the maple trees or the oak trees all lined up along the road. And you'll see the beautiful, vivid colors, and you're, you're seeing them slowly fall to the ground, and you're watching the sunlight come through. And you can have miles of tree canopied roses like that, right? Well, um, this particular dream, it was that setting. And in that setting, I saw everything kind of in slow motion. I saw the sunlight coming through the trees. I saw, I saw the different colors in, 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 in vivid detail. I saw, um, you know, you see a squirrel run across a branch here or a bird land on this branch here and you hear the breeze, uh, moving and, you know, you'd see these piles and piles of leaves on either side of the road, um, you know, mounding up around the tree roots and around the tree bases. And so that was the picture. Well, so I'm looking at that and all of a sudden, you know, it's nice and quiet and, and then this, the noisiest thing you've ever heard, it was an 18 wheeler. So imagine an 18 wheeler coming behind you and just blasting through that setting, right? Just blasting through that setting. And so all of a sudden this truck goes whoom, right through it and it blows leaves violently to the left and it blows leaves violently to the right because remember the road is even covered with leaves. And um, it's just making tons of mess and, 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 and knocking a lot of uh, leaves off trees, etc. But yet everything went slow motion. I zoomed up to the back of the truck. And on the back of the truck, I noticed there's a couple dozen leaves that were kind of caught up in the, uh, the draft of that truck. And they were just slowly spinning. They were just slowly spinning. And... I'm watching at one level all this violent thrashing on either side and then at the same time I'm watching this this just gentle drafting of these leaves by this truck. And then some things became very very obvious to me. Number one, I feel like it was pressed upon my, upon my heart that most people are born, live, blossom, uh, fade away and die and land right by where they started. And it's true for the multitudes of, of people on the earth and, 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 it, and it, made it breaks your heart that that is the case. And yet, because of somebody's decision to push through the status quo, to drive through um, the normal, which I likened it to, to me being aggressive with, with the home-based business that we're doing, uh, for my children, for my wife, for our, for my family. I mean, my, my Holly and I, she's changing the pattern for her family and I'm changing the pattern for mine because both of us break the mold and, and we are doing something that neither side of our family generationally has ever experienced. And, um, and I noticed that these leaves are being carried miles. So I was following the back of this truck for miles. And as the truck finally did come to a stop, it, the leaves gently just fell to a whole new area. And so I woke up from my dream and these, and these observations hit me pretty, pretty, pretty immediately is the very one I told you that most people live, uh, live life, start up wither, and pass right where they started. And as you're, driving through life towards your goals, as you're, as you're being a, a, a history maker, you're being a legacy changer, you're being a, a pattern breaker, you're being a, a, an excuse um, crusher, it makes a lot of noise. 
it knocks a lot of people around. A lot of people can't handle it. And yet, for the select few that, got, that get caught up in your draft, you are able to plant them into a whole other strata of living because of the speed in which you're going forward. And um, I realized quickly, everything that we do affects everybody always. You cannot escape the fact that non-activity and aggressive activity and moderate activity affects people. Um, everything you do affects everyone all the time. And if you need things to change, you've got to be that change. If, you, if you're looking for, for uh, a pattern, I mean, we, we, we complain and we talk and we, and we whine and we wish and we hope and we pray and we, we try 500 new ventures and we do all these different things in order to, to, to be, be more in life. And most people do this. And most people just live and settle where they are. And if you do something like that truck where you're blasting through such a, such a, you know, this is the way we do it environment, you usually make a lot of mess. But again, for the select few, it's, it's a magnificent uh, translation. And uh, what, we're, what I'm creating is a pattern for my kids. They don't see limits. They don't see... Um, well, Daddy, when we have enough money. Well, Daddy, circumstances. Well, Dad, I wish you were home with us. Well, Dad, you know, I tell you what, will you come home if you're not tired? Will you do this? Or, hey, why don't we explore that? Or, I'd love to sure see that state. Or, my wife is, is getting emotional crumbs from me because I'm so exhausted just living and blossoming and doing whatever I do right on that vine. And then, at the end of our days, we fall there at the roots of it. No way. So, it's my prayer and my hope that this is encouraging to you and you guys get a visual of this. Drive through the common. Drive through that which everybody else is doing. Press in. The faster you go, the more people get drawn up in that wake, in that, in that, uh, that draft. Translate people where they could never otherwise have been because of your example. It's that, it's that simple. Your example changes others good, bad, or indifferent. Make a difference, guys. This is our shot. And uh, everybody's watching us. And if you're waiting for somebody else to motivate you, you know what? Be that motivation. Be that change you're looking for. Do it before uh, before the end of your... of Before we all uh, see the summer of our lives into the autumn and into the, to the fall of our lives and the winter of our lives when, when we don't have that shot again. Hope it's an encouragement to you, but uh, change is possible, change is inevitable. And the faster you push and the harder you push, the more good mess you make. Because people are going to talk anyway. I heard a man say this. He said, let the dogs bark. The caravan is moving on. And uh, we're called to be game changers and life changers. Not just for ourselves, but for others. So hope it's encouraging to you. And um, look forward to you guys seeing you guys in the next video, probably in the vehicle, because I do so much thinking in my, uh, in my car as I drive. So have a blessed night. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.